Bonjour, je m'appelle Dr. Tin et bienvenue à French 1311. Aujourd'hui, nous allons étudier les adjectifs. Les adjectifs. Bienvenue à French 1311, chapitre 2, leçon 3. Aujourd'hui, nous allons étudier les adjectifs. Les adjectifs. Hello, my name is Dr. Tien and welcome to French 1311, chapter 2, lesson 3. Today, we are going to study adjectives, adjectives in French. Okay, page 40, page 42, page 40, page 42. Les adjectifs, les adjectifs, les adjectifs, les adjectifs, les adjectifs, adjectives, les adjectifs, ok, adjectives. Right, now we are going to do something. Ok, you look at these adjectives in A, and then you look at the adjectives in B. Ok, B, B, A, A, B, A, B, les adjectifs, les adjectifs, ok, ok, riche, répétez, riche, riche, beau, 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 heureux, 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 faible, 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 actif, actif, grand, 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 gros, 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 jeune, 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 amusant, 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 méchant, méchant, ok, méchant, méchant, amusant, amusant, jeune, gros, Gros, grand, grand, actif, actif, faible, faible, heureux, heureux, beau, beau, riche, riche. Maintenant, B, B, mince, 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 pauvre, pauvre, petit, 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 décontracté. Décontracté, décontracté, fort, 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 laid, 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 sympathique, 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 triste, 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 vieux, 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 sérieux, sérieux. Sérieux, sérieux, vieux, vieux, triste, triste, sympathique, sympathique, laid, 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 fort, fort, décontracté, 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 petit, petit, pauvre, pauvre, mince, mince, ok Now we're going to do something here. We are going to write the opposite of the words, the adjectives in B. Right, we're going to do a pairing here. We're going to pair up opposites. Les contraires. Nous a... <coughs> Nous avons des contraires ici. Ok. Nous avons fait des contraires. We are going to do opposites. Ok. So. Now, riche. Riche. Right. It's a cognate. You can. You know that it means rich in, in English. Beau. 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 Beautiful. Heureux. 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 Happy. Ok. Faible. Faible. 
Sounds like English, feeble, right? Means weak, active, active. You know that is a cognate here. It looks like English. It sounds like English, all right? Grand, 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 tall, tall. Okay, gros, gros, big or fat. Jeune, jeune, young, amusant. Sounds like English. Amusant, ha 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 ha. Okay, méchant, méchant, mean, mean. Okay, wicked, mean. Okay, so now, here in B, see, mens, mens means slim. S L I M. Pauvre, poor, petit, petit. Okay, small, décontracté, relaxed. Okay, somebody who is relaxed, right? Okay, fall, fall, fall. It is not my forte, right? You see that all the time in English. Okay, it is not my strong area. Okay, adjective. Fall means strong. Le, le means ugly, ugly. Sympathique, sympathique. Somebody who is sympathetic, right? So it sounds like English, all right? Sympathique, triste, triste, all right? Trista, which means sad, sad. Vieux, 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 old. Sérieux, sérieux, serious, right? So now we are going to do some pairing here. All right, the opposites, okay? Here we have riche, beau, heureux. Now we're going to match the, the words here with the words here, but it should be le contraire, le contraire, which means opposites, right? They, they are opposites, so, okay, mince, mince. It's slim, so you look here, gros will be the best bet. All right, so gros. Gros, okay? So mince, gros, gros, mince. Pauvre, pauvre. Riche, 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 petit, petit, small, right? Okay, so, grand, 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 okay, décontracté, very long, as you see there, décontracté. So relaxed, right? Will be the opposite of relax, relaxing. So let's do actif, actif, for, for, okay? Faible, faible, le, le. Le, beau, okay, sympathique, sympathique, okay, méchant, mé, chant, triste, 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 heureux. Euh, re, ok, vieux, 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 le contraire, jeune, ok, Un sérieux, 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 amusant. Amusing, funny, ha 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 ha, serious, amusant. Ça va? Okay, now we are going to learn an expression 
that is used with adjectives. The expression quelqu'un de, quelqu'un de, quelqu'un de. Expression quelqu'un de means someone, someone. So quelqu'un de means someone. And you want to say someone old. And then you will follow quelqu'un de with an adjective, right? Quelqu'un de, someone. So you want to say someone old, you say quelqu'un de, que, quelqu'un de vieux. So quelqu'un de vieux, someone old. Okay, you want to say someone active. I need someone active, not someone who is always relaxing, right? So you will say quelqu'un de followed by active, but because we have voyelle, voyelle, vous laissez tomber la première voyelle, you drop the first vowel, right? Et vous mettez l'apostrophe, and then you put the apostrophe in the place of the dropped vowel, okay? So you will say quelqu'un d'actif, someone active. Someone active, someone active, quelqu'un d'actif. Okay, so quelqu'un de, right? It's always followed by an adjective. Okay, quelqu'un de vieux, someone old, quelqu'un d'actif, someone active. All right, so here the active has a vowel in front of it, it begins with a vowel. All right. And because de is also a vowel, you will drop the first vowel and then you put your apostrophe here. So it becomes quelqu'un datif. Now we are going to use all these adjectives here, all right? The ones we use on top plus these adjectives. Intelligent, répétez, intelligent, intelligent. Sounds like English, right? Okay, responsable. Responsable. Sounds like English too, right? Okay. Sincère. Sincère. Sounds like English. Okay. Mignon. 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 That means cute, right? All right. Sportif. Sportif. Sounds like English. Somebody who does sports, right? Okay. So, sportif. Somebody who does sports. Ok, très bien. Gentil, gentil, gentil. Also sounds like English. Good. So we are going to use these ad ad adjectives up there and the ones we just added. Intelligent, responsable, sincère, mignon, mignon, sportif, gentil. To, to describe what a parent is, right? A parent is somebody, okay, and prof et quelqu'un de, and here you see that I, I have the, the apostrophe. So it should be something, an adjective that begins with a vowel. Okay, the same thing here. Un comédien est quelqu'un de apostrophe. So it should be something that has to do deal with an adjective beginning with a vowel right très bien so a parent is somebody blah 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 a professor is somebody so you have to use any of these adjectives adjectives that will best describe a parent right un professeur un comédien un enemy, un enemy, un athlète, un athlète, okay, it looks like English, un millionaire, un millionaire, okay, now, un bébé, un bébé, so you look at these adjectives, right, and then you choose the one that will best describe a parent, so un parent, 
and parent, it can also be a relative. But here, we're using it in the sense of a parent. Okay, un parent est quelqu'un de. Then we are looking, we are looking. And then, responsable est quelqu'un de. Res. Pon. Sable. A parent is somebody responsible. Très bien. Okay, it makes sense, right? And prof est quelqu'un. And then we are looking, we are looking, and then somebody intelligent. Okay. Et quelqu'un d'intelligent. Et quelqu'un d'intelligent. Et quelqu'un d'intelligent. Okay. Un prof est quelqu'un d'intelligent. Okay. Un comédien est quelqu'un d'amusant. Right? She begin with a vowel. You voyelle, so amusant. Ok. Ha, 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 ha. Ok. Un comédien est quelqu'un d'amusant. There we went up here. Right? Amusant. Un ennemi. Un ennemi, an enemy, okay, et quelqu'un de, so, we're looking, is it a happy person, is it a, uh, a young person, I think, right, and I'm thinking right, is mean, right, is a mean person, is a wicked person, so, an enemy, et quelqu'un de, méchant, Méchant. Méchant. Okay? I will explain the meaning a little bit. And prof est quelqu'un d'intelligent. Okay? Mostly our professors are intelligent. Right? That's why they are teaching you. Okay? Okay. Un parent should be responsible. Right? So, un parent est quelqu'un de responsable. Un comédien. Okay? Et quelqu'un d'amusant. Someone funny. Ok? Un ennemi. Un ennemi est quelqu'un de méchant. Somebody mean. Doesn't think well of you. Ok? Un athlète. Un athlète est quelqu'un de... Athlète est quelqu'un de... Il should not... The word, the adjective should not begin with a vowel. So, huh, active will not do it. So, we come here and then somebody who does sports, right? So, et quelqu'un de sportif. Et quelqu'un de sportif. Très bien. Un millionnaire. Un millionnaire. Okay. Un millionnaire est quelqu'un de riche. Et quelqu'un de riche. Ok? Now, un bébé. Un bébé is somebody weak, but here we always say how, how cute he is, how cute she is, right? So we are going to go for cute. Right? So, mignon, 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 mignon. Répétez, mignon, mignon. Ok? So, un bébé est quelqu'un de mignon. Mignon, mignon. Ok? Un bébé est quelqu'un de mignon. Un millionnaire est quelqu'un de riche. Un athlète. Et quelqu'un de sportif. Un ennemi. Right? Un ennemi. Et quelqu'un de méchant. Un comédien. Et quelqu'un d'amusant. Un parent. Et quelqu'un de responsable. Un professeur. Et quelqu'un d'intelligent. So the expression. Quelqu'un de. Means someone. And then the adjective will sort of explain the quality that that person has. All right. So someone old, 
someone active, someone intelligent, someone responsible, right? Quelqu'un d'intelligent, quelqu'un de responsable, quelqu'un de sincère. So, here you can say a friend. See number one here? A friend, right? Is someone almost always you need a sincere friend, right? So, number one, un ou bien une ami, right? Et quelqu'un de un, a friend, right? Whether it's masculine or feminine, un ami ou une ami. Quelqu'un can be used for both masculine and feminine persons, right? So, un, right? Un, as masculine, when it becomes feminine, une, right? Ami, féminine, et quelqu'un de... Sincere. Okay, so a friend is someone sincere, right? So, un, une, ami, ami. So, quelqu'un can be used, can be used to, <clears throat> to go with a masculine or a feminine person, right? Ça va? And it should always be followed by when you are talking about the quality of that person, should be always followed by do, do, and then the adjective will follow. Ça va? Au revoir et à bientôt.